Hi there, and welcome to BEX EDM. One of the challenges in the design and realization of a custom wire EDM machine is how to control the tension and speed of the EDM wire. BEX EDM has developed a controller that allows custom wire EDM machine builders to quickly solve this technical challenge in a professional, industrial way with two servo motors and a load cell. As of today, the CR controller is available in the BEX EDM webshop. This video will walk you through the installation, usage and features of the controller. The controller comes in two flavors. A board only option and the ready to go and closed option. For the ready to go option, the board is built into a die cast aluminum CNC machine enclosure, complete with connectors and labeling. It also comes with an additional sensor cable that makes it easier to connect your load cell. A complete manual is available for download on bexedm.com in the download section. In this video, I will discuss the ready to go option. The board only option will work the same, but it has different pinouts which are described in the manual. The enclosure is full metal. This is important as it effectively shields the controller from EDM EMC noise. The enclosure must be properly grounded for correct operation. It has three connectors on the front and one connector on the bottom. The load cell connects to the bottom connector like so. The connectors on the front connect to the C arc servo motors and the PC and or CNC control. The X1 connector is for power and communication. The X2 connector connects to the servo that controls the tension in the EDM wire and the X3 connector connects to the servo that controls the wire speed. Let's head over to the example machine to show how the controller is connected. This is the C arc of the wire EDM machine, and on top of the C arc is the C arc controller. The C arc controller controls two servo motors. The shaft of the first servo motor is here. This is the motor that determines the speed. The shaft of the second motor is here, and that is the motor that determines the wire tension. Here is the load cell, an off the shelf TAL220 load cell which is connected through the CR controller through a shielded cable, which, which goes to the bottom of the CR controller. And the CR controller reads out the sensor voltage and controls the tension. Here's a uh, view of the back side of the CR controller. On the left is the motor that determines the wire speed, which is connected to the X3 connector of the CR controller. On the right is the motor that determines the wire tension, which is connected to the X2 connector of the CR controller. And the X1 connector contains the 5 volt power and the communication interface to the uh, PC and CNC controller. And these two cables are the power cables for the clear path servos. The X1 interface of the CR controller is for powering the CR controller with 5 volts but also for communication. For communication, it has three different channels. The first channel is an RS-485 interface, which uh, can be used in combination with a RS-485 to a USB cable to hook the um, CR controller up to your PC in order to uh, configure the settings. Then there is a uh, digital isolated input that can simply be used to turn the wire control and wire speed on or off. A digital one, which is five volt, is turning it on, and a zero is turning it off. Then there's also a uh, optically isolated digital output, and that output indicates whether or not there is a wire break condition. So you can hook up that output to your um, a CNC control uh, such that it can act appropriately if the wire breaks. 
So when everything is hooked up, you can uh, install the uh, software on your PC and uh, start operating it. So let's have a look at how that works. To control the C-Arc from your PC, for general use, you can choose between a generic serial terminal, like Termite here on the right side, or between the BEX EDM graphical user interface, called BEX EDM dashboard, here on the left side. The dashboard is also used to control the ARC generator. For initial setup, however, you require the serial terminal, but only once. Each load cell has a random voltage offset, which needs to be compensated. The C-Arc controller has an adjustment potentiometer to dial this in. The procedure for adjusting the potentiometer for first time use is very simple. Power your CR controller on and make sure the load cell is connected and unloaded. Then type in the serial terminal, the command sensor readout in capital letters and press enter. A value is returned and this value is the uh, readout of the uh, tension sensor, the load cell. Now, adjust the potentiometer such that this readout is the smallest non-zero positive value possible. In order to do so, iterate through sending the command, the command sensor readout, and read out the voltage, and tweak the potentiometer to reach the desired value. Now, clockwise increases the voltage, and counterclockwise decreases the voltage. So now I'm at positive. I rotate counterclockwise, pressing the arrow up repeats the previous command in termite, that's convenient. So we do it again, and again, and again, oh, almost there, yeah, now I'm at zero, so now I turn clockwise to slightly increase it, counterclockwise again, clockwise very little. Yeah, this is the smallest value I can achieve. So now the um, adjustment of the potentiometer is finished. And now we are actually done with the uh, serial terminal, so we can simply close it. This video will now only use the uh, dashboard application for further explanation, as it is the most convenient way to use the CR controller. If, however, you prefer the serial terminal, the CR controller manual lists all the available commands. Operation of the CR controller is very simple. If the uh, serial connection has not been opened yet, select the right port number from the list and press open. After that you can uh, control the CR controller. So you can uh, pick the wire speed that you want and you can pick the wire tension and when you press send wire config, it flashes the um, wire speed and wire tension to the C-Arc controller. And then if you press start wire, the wire will run at the given speed with the given tension. You can also press stop wire here to stop the wire. And that's basically it, very straightforward. Now, what is really convenient is that um, if you find yourself using the same uh, wire speed and wire tension um, very frequently, you can flash the wire speed and wire tension as default by, press, by pressing the flash config as default button. And then these parameters are saved to the non-volatile memory of the CR controller, which means that next time when the CR controller is powered up, it automatically loads these numbers. So then you don't even need to use the BEX EDM uh, dashboard application. Because for stopping and starting the wire, the um, uh, communication interface of the CR controller also contains a simple digital input, which if you apply 5 volts, the wire starts, and if you uh, apply 0 volts, the wire stops. So um, yeah. Basically, you only need the uh, BEX EDM dashboard application for uh, yeah, configuring the wire speed and wire tension, so if you want to change it. Now, what is really convenient is that if you have found um, the right speed and tension for your application, you can also press save the displayed parameters as a new configuration. 
And then in the configuration library that holds all the parameters for your arc generator and for your uh, wire control, uh, a new entry is listed. And uh, this now contains the wire tension and the wire speed that you have just selected. It also works the other way around. If you have found a parameter set that works well for you, you can select it and then you can press use config in control tabs and then the arc generator as well as the wire control uh, are set to the correct values, which can then be sent to the CR controller or to the uh, arc generator. It's uh, yeah, very straightforward. Now the configuration library um, can be saved. So next time when you uh, yeah, want to machine a material which you have already machined in the past and for which you have found a parameter set that works well for your specific application, you don't need to find those parameters again. You just look into your configuration library and use those numbers. That's it for this uh, product video of the C-Arc controller. For any information about how to perform firmware upgrades or how to do the step-by-step -step installation of the PC software, please have a look at the uh, C-Arc controller manual, which is available in the download section of backcdm.com. See you next time.